Was sixth in the world indoors, by the way, in Belgrade back in uh, back in March. He's in good form. And Matt Stonia is in there as well, already selected for the Commonwealth Games, the 20-year-old coach by Chris McGeorge, himself a former, co former Commonwealth Games bronze medalist. So, away they go. Now, how will the times go in this one? It already looks like it's slowing down after initial rush, bit of pushing and shoving there. Let's hope and pray nobody goes down. And uh, Weigman in third place, Josh Kerr in second. This is uh, going to be a real game of cat and mouse, almost like a game of chess between the big names as uh, James West eases to the front. But he looks rather reluctant runner, reluctant leader, says the Tumbridge AC man. Haywood, Jake Haywood, wants to put himself in a good position on the shoulder of the leader. That's where everybody wants to be. We're going to see a lot of changing of positions, I suspect, in this one, Hannah. Probably a, a click under 45 at 300. And there's a lot of pushing and shoving going on there. Jake Whiteman slotting himself on the inside there. That's fine as long as the athlete in front of you doesn't start slowing. And James West at this stage with a 60 first lap, he'd have no problems. I might expect Jake Hayward to kick kind of a little bit earlier. He hasn't got the 400 meter speed, so 800 meter speed of the likes of Neil Gawley um, and Jake Whiteman and Josh Kerr. They've all done 144, whereas Jake Hayward sitting more on that sort of 147. George Mills, again, he might not want it to come down to an absolute sprint you open the door to the likes of Matt Stonia if you do that Neil Gawley for me at the moment just a little bit further back than he needs to be at this stage Jake Whiteman getting pushed back there by Jake Hayward as he slots in a little bit tighter to the rail trying to run that shortest line so West Hayward Mills Josh Kerr moving down the outside Stonia boxed at the moment back in about eighth place on the inside the winner of the Emsley Car Mile and they go through with two laps to run and it has been a much slower second lap the first lap 60.5 everybody is there everybody watching each other Stonia needs to get off the curb in that red vest of uh, Invicta East Kent they go through 800 meters look at that 62.5 that lap 203 at 800 the cap and mouse game continues. Josh Kerr now at the front and controlling things. Jake Whiteman back in about sixth place at the moment. Needs to start moving up and covering Kerr. Gurley, you haven't really mentioned him in that yellow vest of Gipnock North AC. He's in second place. Whiteman watching everything they're doing in fifth. That was a good move off Neil Gawley. He was in any great position last lap and he managed to glide through. He almost shut off Jake Whiteman. And at this point, Jake Whiteman is looking like he's making it hard for Jake Hayward to get to the front. Josh Kerr, for me, has got the best position here. The top four are almost straight across the track. Jake Hayward of Wales trying to get past the three Scotsmen. But Josh Kerr leading at the moment. Can he hold on? Kerr from Gurley. Whiteman now in third place. Hayward in fourth. Mills in fifth. Stoney has got a lot of work to do. He's back in about seventh at the moment as Josh Kerr leads through 1,200 metres. A 57.1 there. Still not a big acceleration yet. Three minutes exactly at 1,200 metres. As Kerr leads down the back straight, he's the defending champion. Now Whiteman tries to get past and kicks in alongside his uh, teammate. They were running as colleagues, as kids. And Whiteman gets into the lead there significantly ahead of Kerr going into the final bend. Whiteman, Kerr. And uh, Gurley in fourth, third place. Haywood has got some running to do yet in fourth place. Mills back in fifth. Stoney is out of it, back in sixth place. As Whiteman kicks to the home. Kerr trying to come back at him. Down the outside, Gurley with that recent 144 for 800. But is Whiteman going to take it? He is still holding on towards the line and gets it there. Whiteman takes it. Takes the title. And some big, big names behind him. Gurley was coming through. Kerr loses it on this occasion. Maybe short of racing Josh Kerr. He hasn't raced much yet this year. Perfectly executed by Jake Whiteman. Well, the experience he's accrued over the recent years will be well used there. Let's not forget that uh, he's a 329 performer. On paper, both he and Josh Kerr, fabulously fast athletes with sub-330 clockings. But uh, Jake Wyman has given everything there. I got his last lap at 